Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the defense did a great job today. Um, you know, John and all them guys, uh, they always say, you know, they have our back just like we have their back um, when it's crunch time. Um, and when we need to get points, we went out there and got points. And when they needed to get a stop, they got a stop. And um, we depend on each other. And um, I think that's the great thing about our team. You know, it's a team sport. Um, not one side of the ball can get the job done, but we need both sides. And um, I think the special thing about football. As soon as you released it, did you think, ooh, I should have done that? Uh, no, I got hit, and I didn't see it. So, yeah. <laughs> We'll go over on the right, Pat. Yeah, for any of you guys, uh, now that you've been through the game, did it feel like this was a week too early, or did you feel like you guys were fully prepared and ready? Um, I feel like we were, I don't know if you used X, but uh, I feel like we were fully prepared. Obviously, things don't go sometimes our way that we, we expect them to go. Um, I think these guys can attest to that, obviously. Um, I didn't go out there and try to throw a pick. Um, that's not what I plan to do. It's not in our game plan. <laughs> but. Um, things happen throughout the course of a game that you don't plan, but that's what adversity is, and um, it's all about you know just trying to persevere through those kind of things. And that's what we did tonight, and just got a great team win. So, one row back on the left. Hey, uh, Melissa Thomas with Florida National News. This is for all of you. Um, we heard from the the UM coach that he was saying that his team was a little soft on the tackles tonight. Based on your perspective on the field, do you feel that that was the same as well? Um, no, I think they played great on defense. Uh, I think they executed really well and was able to stop us when they needed to. And uh, I don't think that they played soft at all. You know, it's a rivalry game. I don't think guys are coming out soft. I think the game did get a little sloppy at times, but I don't think anybody played soft on either side of the ball. One row up on front. Just a few days ago, how important this game was going to be, just the fact that you were back in this particular stadium. And it was first game back, walking off the field. How did you feel you did? And going through your mind? Uh, it was just a blessing. I mean, it was overwhelming. I mean, it's the same place I got hurt in my whole season last year. So uh, coming back to this game, I was real nervous, you know, very overwhelming at the beginning of the game. But, I, you know, I just prayed. You know, my mom prayed for me. I had a lot of uh, my friends, a good support system. And, uh, you know, I just basically went out with my boys. They had my back. You know, I had their back. So I was going to give them all just like they would for me. So we came out victorious, and I just made it that much better in the stadium. Speaking of Tommy Townsend, how do you kind of keep your composure on the sidelines when you know that fake is coming, or, or did you all know it was coming, or and just look up and see him going? No, uh, no, nah, nah, nobody. I mean, Coach Mullen's good about that. Um, right when it happened, I mean, I was talking to him, and then that happened, and then uh, I was like, man, you're like you're sneaky, and then uh, it's just, I mean, Coach Mullen does that, and it just it was a great momentum for us, and uh, obviously Tommy did a great job of just getting the first down for us, and eventually got a good play and, and touchdown. So I think it was a good momentum um, starter for us to get going. Front row right. Guys, if you always want to take a stab at this one, um, you know, Nation got to see you play tonight. Uh, Dan talked about making a first impression earlier this week. Um, you know, you might not have this many people watching you again for a while. What kind of impression do you think you made on the country tonight? Uh, I think... Obviously, it was a sloppy game, but, you know, that's we're at the beginning of the season. We've got a lot of things to fix and correct. Uh, but that doesn't take away from the talent on the team and the drive that we have on the team. And we, we're going to do some really good things. You know, just things don't go our way at times, but we had to just put the fire out when the time was needed. Uh, but we're just going to move on from here. You know, that, if teams want to take us lightly and take this game and think that we're going to play this the rest of the year, then they're going to find out real soon that was a mistake. I got you. All right. Back here. John, John have you ever uh, – right here. Have you ever been part of a, a defense that put up double-digit sacks like that? Uh, I think we had probably one, one, one or two games in Louisville one time uh, when we did that before. But, I mean, just the intensity of how we did it here, you know, we just kept going at it relentlessly. Uh, I've never been a part of it, something like that, you know. But, you know, I've always been around guys who love the game of football, want to make plays. You know, this defense, we all had that same goal in our mind uh, to make sacks and make big plays in the game when we need them. And we did that. So uh, that's just the reward that comes from it from hard work. Did you guys have any panic from those guys? Oh, yeah, from the jump. I mean, especially, I mean, uh, the old line, I mean, you see that they, they have false starts. I mean, they were all antsy, just make, just worried about our get offs, you know, getting to the quarterback. But, you know, um, at the end of the day, we're going to stay humble. We're still going to keep working. You know, we're going to, we understand that there's going to be better competition in the future. But we, uh, we're just going to be all right after that. We're just going to keep working and get, uh, get what we want to get in the future.
We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.